I am at Universal Studios for the annual Pass Holder Appreciation Night. They're closing down the park at 8 o'clock and letting it have its way with all the annual Pass Holders. We get the whole park to ourselves until midnight. So, let's go do this. And here is the annual Pass Holder check-in area. I'm so excited for this. Wow, oh, I gotta get my card out though. Holy moly, that's a lot of people. And we are in. I am so excited for this. I don't know what to expect though, because I have no information. And uh, no matter what, it's gonna be a good time. Universal Studios till 12 a.m. Sounds like a good time for me. But attraction queues are subject to close prior to 11 p.m. to accommodate attraction wait times. Very understandable. This will be the second time I've been wristband this week. Ooh. Very fancy. <laughs> Thank you. We are greeted as we get our wristbands with the annual pass holder pin of the month. Look at that. They literally just hand it to you at the same time. Pretty soon, this little corridor is going to be frightfully full of scares for Halloween Horror Nights. I'm excited, but I think they have something for the pass holders happening over here. I am not by myself tonight. I am actually here with a couple of friends. Like me! Yes! Hi, Nate! There are going to be a lot of people we're yeah, probably going to run into. Friends. I mean, anything that's a special event, annual pass holder thing, you're bound to run into friends. Yeah, and everyone's our friend, right Nate? Yeah, everyone. It looks like we have a little universal annual pass holder dance party happening over here. Look at people dancing and having fun. Is that a burger with everything? And check this out. I love it. And then we ran into our other friend. What's your channel name? YouTube.com slash Theme Park Express. Check him out. What a great guy. <laughs> that was a burger with everything. And look at that. That's a nifty little universal annual pass holder sign. So it is annual pass holder appreciation. And as any annual pass holder, the first stop has to be Finnegan's. So I noticed that they actually halted all operations on certain things. We went to go into Finnegan's earlier and they actually closed up shop from 8 to 9 and they reopened back at 9 for the rest of the annual pass holders. But they're basically trying to get the, pa the people that aren't pass holders out of the park. If I can't get my Bud Light from Finnegan's though, I can always rely on this guy. Duff me. And that's a proper duffing. You can actually pet Beethoven. Check this out. And if Beethoven isn't enough for you, you can pet and meet an otter. That is one of the coolest photo opportunities I've ever seen. And check this out. They even have a Halloween Horror Nights tent open already with the Twisted Taters. Awesome. Look at those beauties. Oh, man. I want to get one, but I don't. Oh, look, now they're fresh. Oh, now they're fresh. Look at this lightning happening. Well, I hope that it happens again because once you turn on the camera, the lightning tends to go away. But, oh, oh, there it is. A little bit. I like it. Oh, oh. Very nice. Very cool. Another nifty thing that they have for the annual pass holder night is the parade floats just out and about hanging out here so you can go up and you can actually take photos and touch it and i think a couple character meet and greets we're gonna go take a closer look eh? look how cool that is i love it that's pretty awesome this is the uh the swinging one where they oh yeah wow i like it a lot you can just hang out can i take a step on it no no I thought so, but I figured I'd ask. Thank you! And there's Diego! It's Tampa J! Yes! <laughs> Literally just hanging out. No wait though. That's pretty awesome. Not that Diego's cool or anything, but he is cool. And then we have SpongeBob's parade float just hanging out. And a little photo with Patrick. That is awesome. Patrick! 
Wow! I have never met you before, but I love it. Wow! Oh yes, time for a photo. Unbelievable, Patrick. You're awesome. Thank you. I love you, Patrick. Patrick was on the other side, and this is a super enthused SpongeBob. <laughs> Wow, that was that was super enthused. And then the minion photo is just hanging out here. I think all of the character meet and greets are heading back for the moment, but it's still cool just to get an up close look at things. You know, you never really get this close. I touched it. Oh, I touched it. It's okay, I touched it. Thank you. All right, I'm half tempted to touch the button. Oh my lord. <laughs> I touched it. So other than just cool character meet and greets and parade floats just hanging about, I want to know what the wait times are like. Is there like no wait for rides or is there longer waits? Because you gotta realize there's only annual pass holders in the park. And actually, whenever I walk into the park, I always use Minion Mayhem as a kind of judge of if it's busy or not. And it's only a 15 minute wait, so we're looking good. Wow, it's just nice to get out of the AC. And now we're just like grouping up. Wait, did you call all of us in? Aren't we like a party of nine? All right. I guess I'm in one. Best part of the ride is the banana smell. It's like the orange smell from Soren. <laughs> I might not be able to film, but I can show you the inside of the theater. Universal is very strict with their no filming during the ride policy. But take a look at all this. Pretty awesome, huh? Right here. Have a seat. Have a seat, my friend. Have a seat. Thank you. It used to be 3D! Why did they take it out? I don't know! Oh no! <laughs> now it's time for the great dance party. Someone's creeping behind me. I don't even know what's going on right here. So we made our way back over to Finnegan's because remember we couldn't get in earlier because they closed from 8 to 9. But now I think it's time. Boom. Look at that, a black and blue, Bud Light, Smithwicks, what'd you get? Goodness, my friend. Oh, uh, I Cheers. like it. It's funny how busy it is on annual pass holder night in Finnegan's. Like, it's pretty crowded. I mean, it's not too bad. I've seen it a lot worse, but I appreciate that they're open. Thank you, guys. Thank you. Ah! <laughs> wow, nice, very high. Hey, you can take it if you want. Thank you. <laughs> so earlier they had the otter and the St. Bernard from the animal actors, but now they have the pig and then the little tiny dog right here. That is so awesome. Seriously, best photo opportunity. So with our time here, we decided we're gonna do Men in Black because there's actually a group of six of us, so we'll get our own cart. I'm excited, I hope I win. The universe and you. I have not seen this in forever. This is pretty awesome. Follow the arrows. Oxygen free zone, please. Huh? So cool. Look, they even have a bun coffee maker that you would actually find in a lot of break rooms and restaurants. I don't know what happened to my other party. Oh, hey, there they are. Hey. I got to put this away now, but look at this. Whoa. Dinner! <laughs> I think, actually, in a hole, the whole cart actually broke a million. 
$70. Look at this. <laughs> Look at this. No way to meet Krusty. Huh. Krusty. Hi, Krusty. Hi, Krusty. <laughs> Krusty. <laughs> I don't want a picture, but I just want to say you're an inspiration. Thank you. So now that we successfully kicked butt on Men in Black, we're gonna head over to E.T. because it's one of my favorites. I mean, I gotta be straight up and honest about it. I love it, I love the smell, I love the cheesy mannequins. It's amazing. E.T. is probably one of my favorite rides at Universal. So, let's get on that. 15 minutes, not too shabby. The mystery. The suspense. Welcome, everyone. What is happening right now? What are you guys doing? Is this like a thing? A passport selfie thing is a thing? I guess I, I didn't know. I didn't know. Look at this. We got the forest all to ourselves. So crazy. Oh my lord, there's nobody in here. I know that it's like a little bit dark in here, but wow. Oh my lord, it's Bontanicus. So cool. Oh yes. So our night is coming to an end, and I think we're gonna try to squeeze in the mummy as one last ride. But honestly, amazing time here. The crowd levels are way down. Like, I am so shocked. So, let's see if we can get there in time. Okay, we made it. The curse, it's real. Oh, there's a hole here, okay. Watch out! So folks, lesson of the evening. So we rushed over here to try to ride it and I actually didn't stop to the lockers and I ran right into the ride thinking I'd just shove my camera in my pocket. But because of the tripod, it wouldn't fit, in the, wouldn't fit my pocket. So I let everyone else ride and I exit the vehicle and I'm not mad, it's okay. We're gonna try to ride Transformers as our last ride but I accept what happened. 
is midnight and the pass holder appreciation night is officially over but on our way out we wanted to check out that little photo opportunity in the beginning that had the long line and we said no no we're not gonna get in line because there's gonna be nobody waiting at the end of the night and I think we were right and I was right nobody in line I think we are done here for the night. Oh, I'm getting a little little water steam coming up here. But wonderful job, Universal. I really appreciate your appreciation for annual pass holders. So, love the life you live, and we'll see you next time. Bye.